Righto, today I'm actually, um, I'm in the museum building, so something a bit different. Um, I decided that we might set up a, a 8924C monitor in here, and uh, we've got so many radios to get through in here, I, th I thought it'd probably easier just to have a monitor sitting in here and um, have my internet connected over here, and pretty much just a little bit of small bench space. We've still got to clear off some rubbish over here. Anyway, um, the Optima, um, 10, 12 metre. Uh, quite a, a nifty receiver and transmitter on these things. Uh, particular receiver is quite uh, quite good actually. Uh, and um, obviously um, they could do various uh, different um, uh, modes and uh, bands, etc. Um, as in lower side band, upper side band, uh, FM, AM. And we'll do it again: upper side band, lower side band, <laughs> etc. Um, so. Uh, basically a uh, full carrier um, with about 20, 21, 22 watts on uh, uh, on FM. I think AM they were very much the same. Let's have a look. No, a little bit less actually. But Arlo, one, Arlo one probably picks up. Yeah, it picks up around 24 watts um, as you talk. Talk it up a bit. And sideband, I think from memory, we'll go upper sideband. We're on dummy load just uh, for everybody's reference. Hello, one, two, three, four, five. Hello, one, two, yeah, around 25 watt sideband. So, yeah, look, a great little radio for, for what they are. Um, one thing I don't have out here at the moment is uh, is an antenna, which would be good to be able to give you a bit of a uh, an on-air test out here. But we'll, we'll have a bit of a look at that um, very soon. Uh, they had basically, uh, now, good point, they did have a variable power output, um, which, now, if I'm looking at it, let me just check um, which one's the Scorch, which one's the... Uh, oh, sorry, let's just go to FM for a moment so I can actually hear something. I bet you I'm squelched. Right, squelch there. Let's just check that power level with the power level right up, actually. Just realised that um, we, uh, we might have been uh, down a little bit there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two. Well, that uh, um, on FM. The same on FM. I'm wondering if whether they treat it like an ALC control for sideband. AM will be about the same, I'd say. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, okay. And just see if it makes any difference on sideband. They may change the drive level. Hello, oh, hello, 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 hello. Oh, very little. <laughs> so that power control uh, is not doing a heck of a lot um, uh, in um, it's, it's, it changes it by about a watt or two, but no big deal. Um, the VFO on the side here, obviously you can set your step rate over here so you can make it um, uh, far less, far more, etc, etc, if you want to get around the band quickly. Um, step rate can just be changed like so, and as you can see I'm then going into 1kc step rates there, uh, or I can then move it over and move over into 10kc splits there. Um, if I want to quickly get up to 29.6, probably a faster way to do that, and I'll show you in a sec. Um, so 29.6 FM, which would be brilliant for, or back over to um, here. Oh, I've got I hit scan by mistake. Then that was clever. Sorry. Uh, hang on. Oh, yeah, I've done. <laughs> I did myself in then. Sorry. Let's just get back to megahertz, um, and I hit the scan as well. So um, let's go back to um, 600. So let's say I want to change the step, and I want to go quickly way back down to 500. Step it again, down to 490, etc, etc. Now for memory, these do have some memories on them. Oh yeah, memory recall, um, etc, etc. So you can obviously do that. Uh, this one's actually got an Icom uh, microphone that's been modified to go on it. Um, and uh, it definitely drives very well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, hello, 1, 2, yeah. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, hello, yeah. No, terrific drive off the Icom mic, so... Uh, whoever did that uh, probably had had maybe less success with the um, uh, with the hand mic that uh, used to uh, go with these things. Um, they they're pretty they they were a pretty plasticky looking mic to be honest. So um, let's uh, go over to receive and um, just give me a second. I I haven't used my twenty eight uh, my eighty nine twenty four C for so long. I have to set it up. Give me a sec. It's it's terrible. All right, so what I've done is just um, quickly put in 28490, and then we're going to 
have a bit of a look at just how much signal we want to put into it. The um, uh, the 8924C, oops, I'll go down here. It, look, it's not a bad, bad unit. They're all right, um, but it is not my favourite out of everything that we use. Uh, you know, you see me using the Motorola's and the, the IFRs. It's just that I was brought up with them. If um, you know you were brought up with a HP, you'll run around this a lot faster than I'm running around it, and uh, you know probably do uh, quite a bit more um, uh, with it and with your understanding of it. All right, let's just get. Um, oh yes, I know what that is with the reference. We'll fix that in a minute. Let's just see if we can get a signal into it. All right, I've converted over to microvolts because I, I like microvolts better. Just hearing sort of a, a bit of a signal at 0.5. Um, and which is not unusual uh, actually if I yeah I'm hearing it at 0.5 on sideband if I go to <laughs> FM let's just bring that up a little bit and so I've actually got to apply a tone with this I can see <laughs> okay, so sorry. Uh, whilst we're showing it receiving at the moment, I've got my tone set up incorrectly on this at the moment. Um, uh, yeah, all credit for not using this analyzer for for way too long. But yeah, look, just just having a look at it. Um, certainly doing quite okay, hearing quite well. But it's I, I do prefer doing these tests. I might actually bring the IFR out here. Um, it is a much better unit to do these sort of tests on to show examples of exactly what we're doing um, mainly because I know it better and I, I'm onto it so much faster um, I'll probably spend the next five minutes trying to remember how to set up the tone on this uh, and um, <laughs> anyway, doesn't matter alright, let's see if we can cancel that test oh, well, at least that worked um, from memory, the 8924C picks up hello, hello, hello oh yeah, picks up its frequency one, two, one, two not the best resolution of the 8924s. Uh, 89, yeah, 24s, all right. Um, uh, sorry, I'm thinking of the 8920 as well. Um, very similar, actually, those two beasts, but anyway, I won't get into that. But yeah, it gives you a bit of an idea just what they can do. The, the Optima um, is actually branded in a few different names, but um, uh, a lot of them did, uh, when I go into megahertz, did go in one meg steps. Yeah, um, and a lot of them did trans once one two three four five one two one two yeah did transmit on CB as well. Um, not something I recommend, um, but uh, just something to be aware of. Um, I'm pretty sure there's an inhibit if you want to turn that off that will just take it back to hand bands only. Uh, I seem to be coming across a lot of these units where uh, a lot of them are you know sort of already modified etc etc. Anyway. This is the first of quite a few we're just doing very quick tests on. Um, we're not doing rave reviews. This is really for sale uh, stuff, just to be able to say, right, okay, this one's ready to go out the door. Uh, look, the only thing we want to do is just make sure that um, everything goes out the door is actually, you know, had a quick test and, and uh, works okay. I was trying to remember what the function does. When you push that, was it? Uh, uh, oh, maybe it's this one. It is too. Yeah, okay, so there's a function on here and then... I'm not sure what, oh, and the function then allows you to do the buttons below. That's right, so the yellow. So uh, actually, good example is, let's just go faster. Let's say, this is, this is more what I'm into actually, I'm not doing that anyway. Uh, and I, should, I know how to do this much faster. I'm, I'm really taking the slow way here. Um, what I should have done was just gone up one meg and then just, so anyway. Let's, let's say we wanted a repeater 29.560 at the moment. So we may want to then say function uh, repeat. Where was that? Oh, God, I just saw it. I just saw it. I'm, um, I'm going mental. Um, shift. There it is. So function shift. Aha. So there's the positive shift, which we don't want. Function shift. Negative shift. Uh, doesn't help you much actually. <laughs> they're set at um, a what are they set at the five five or six six hundred kilohertz shift. Now, what we want for Australia here, well, worldwide on um, 
I wonder if we can go in and change that shift. I almost think you probably can um, in the menu. You'll be able to go set that up. But ideally, what you want to be able to do is go from, um, oh, say, 660. The shift should be 560. Um, so, yeah, it's a 600 kilohertz shift at the moment. Uh, so that I'd need the book for it just to show you how to put that into a 100 kilohertz shift. Now, the 600s come from, obviously, um, people thinking about two meters all the time. And um, uh, so, yeah, that won't work. But ideally, the idea would be to have this set up so that you could um, have that split there uh, straight over to um, a 100 uh, kilohertz drop on your repeaters on... Uh, on 29 FM and uh, wacko. All right, look, very short video on this one. Um, it all just got for sale. If anybody's interested, email brenton at posnav.com.au. Uh, it's not going to be much. They're, they're not expensive, um, but they can be a great little 10 meter radio for um, particularly sideband. I know I've heard some really great reports on the receivers on these things on sideband, so I think that's where you know they may excel. Um, I must get an antenna in here, so I could. 10 meters is actually running at the moment, so it probably would have been more opportune to uh, to show you it's uh, actually running uh, with an antenna uh, so much so that just hang on you know what let's move it somewhere where it has got an antenna okay I thought I'd come in on an antenna but <laughs> what I thought was a decent band going maybe not so much um, one two three four five one two one two uh, so we'll keep, put that right on let's have a um, one two one two one two three four five testing one two three four five VK3 Charlie Mike testing 28490. Anybody tell us we're coming through, please? Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to get as much success as I thought. Um, uh, just earlier, the band was open a bit, and uh, I thought, oh, beauty. But uh, now, I can't transmit down there, uh, but where there might be some activity, lower side band. You know where I'm going. <laughs> Let's have a look. See if there's much activity down there. Nice. Some lower sort of signals there, but not tremendously huge either. I really did think we might have had a bit more success. Um, with um that's our game there with um conditions but no it is definitely a bit quieter than i gave it credit for keep in mind you can't transmit down here on um 27 26 uh keep clear of all that uh but uh i just thought we might actually hear a bit more activity oh you won't hear much above there but no well, it was worth a go, wasn't it? Um, let's go up one megahertz, and let's just go up a sideband, and let's see. Well, that was loud. Up a sideband, try again. Uh, even the beacons are... Generally, I can sort of have a bit of a quick look at some of the beacons and see if there's much coming through. Um, but, uh, no, nah, look, I won't bother. All right, well, look, that just gives you a bit of an idea um, of exactly what they do, how they do it, uh, and... Uh, certainly do some research just on, and I'll do the same, uh, by the time if anyone talks to me about this radio, we'll um, try and find out, because I think the 100 split would be perfect for this. Now, a lot of people just would want it for 28,490 sideband, I get that. Um, but I think if it um, could actually have its um, 100kc split versus 600kc split, that would be the perfection, you know. So anyway, all right. Sorry, the light in here is a little bit terrible. Um, uh, as it was, uh, sorry, as it wasn't in the other room. The other room was brilliant, but this is this is terrible in here at the moment. So um, please excuse that. Um, I uh, I just rushed in here to try an antenna on it. So uh, anyway, all the best, seventy trees, and uh, yeah, uh, drop me a line if uh, one of these. As I said, not a lot of money, just interesting little radio, nice little one to have as a ten meter monitor or something to muck around with the FM repeaters for sure. Cheers all.